Hi everybody, this is Dark Onion here with another tutorial. This time we'll be doing a tutorial on how to install ROMs on your Motorola Droid 2 or Droid X. So before we get started, there are a few things you need. Uh, first thing you need is you need to need to have your phone be rooted. Um, if you haven't had your phone rooted yet, um, head over to one of my other videos and follow the directions and and get your phone rooted. Uh, the second thing you need is the Couch Bootstrap uh, application. Um, you can find this on the web or on Marketplace. Uh, you do need this file um, and you need to have it installed in order to install ROMs. Uh, the last thing you need is um, to have a ROM of some sort. I will be installing Fission 2.1 Final. Um, this is uh, one of the first ROMs out for the Droid 2. Uh, there is also one for a Droid X. Um, quick note about this, this is a, a really brief a general guide on how to install ROMs. Uh, please, before you install any ROM, um, make sure you read the directions. Uh, each ROM is different and is uh, general. There are a few little things that are maybe installed differently. So, uh, first things first. I have my uh, D2 Fission ROM here. Uh, please leave this in the zip just like you downloaded it. Um, and the first thing you want to do is you want to put your phone into uh, USB mass storage mode. So, um, so there's my phone. Pull down the blind. Choose USB connection. Put in USB mass storage. Press OK. And done. Alright. And you want to you want to open your um, your SD card and copy and paste your file onto the base of the SD card. I've already done that, so I'm not going to copy it over again. All right. So from this point on, you can uh, choose to disconnect your uh, your phone uh, or or not and. Sorry. And uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Droid 2 Bootstrap uh, application, which is this one right here. It's uh, a red skull inside a gray box. Okay. Uh, you're gonna you see two buttons at the top: Bootstrap Recovery and Reboot Recovery. Uh, tap the top one, Bootstrap Recovery, first, and it's gonna say Super User has been granted, and then choose Reboot Recovery. and your phone's going to reboot and you know you've got to the right place when you boot up to a menu with green text. At the bottom in the middle it's going to say clockwork recovery. Alright, so there we are. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a backup. Um, I've already made a backup so I'm not going to go through the whole process but yeah. Uh, so go down to the third from the bottom which is backup and restore uh, and you can do that by using the the volume up and down when you get down there press the uh, camera trigger to choose it and then you're gonna see three options choose backup and press the camera trigger again and then it's gonna start backing up your phone alright so next thing you want to do is uh, you need to wipe the cache. So third one down, or fourth one down, it says wipe cache data. Select that. Okay, and then it's gonna give you a bunch of no's and then finally a yes. You want to choose a yes to confirm. So navigate to that. Alright, and then it's gonna ask you to wipe data, which is the third one down. Wipe data, factory set, choose that. And confirm. Okay, and this is going to take a few seconds. All right, so uh, now we have to go down to the advanced. Okay, choose that. Then choose wipe battery stats, which is the third one down. 
confirm. Alright. And then wipe Devic Delvic Cache. And confirm. Alright. So now we need to go back. So go ahead and press the power button on top and that will take you to the previous menu. Okay, and go down to mount and storage. Alright. You want to mount the slash system. And you know it's mounted when it says unmount. Okay. And then choose mount slash data. And it's going to say unmount data when mounted. Alright. Back out to the main menu again. Okay. The fifth one down is install zip from SD card. Choose that and then choose the second one which is choose zip from SD card. Alright, and what you want to do is you want to choose the D2 or whatever ROM you're using, the D2 Fission 2.1 final.zip and select that and confirm. Choose yes. And it's going to start installing. Alright, and that's it. It says install complete. So it's going to go back to the previous menu in a sec. Alright, and you want to back out to the main menu. And you're going to choose the top one, which is reboot system now. And choose that. When, when the phone boots up, we are going to be... It's going to be like the phone came out of the factory, but with the, with the, new, um, with the new ROM on it. Um, it's highly recommended that you uh, factory for this ROM factory reset, um, and in order to do that, you would go to the um, to the settings, and then choose privacy, and then choose factory data reset. Um, and yeah, so um, yeah, so once again, uh, in order to factory reset your phone inside of the Android, um, go to Go to your settings, then go to your privacy, and then um, choose factory data reset, and then confirm, and, and then yeah. So as soon as this boots up, uh, yeah. So there we are. Uh, starting to boot up. Uh, in a second, we'll get to the um, the stock or to the. Uh, the, the main screen. And there we go. So don't forget to um, don't forget to choose or don't forget to uh, factory set your phone after after you're done. All right, dark on you now.